the truth about Jehovah's Witnesses. Of all the churches that are teaching things that are false, I've never heard of anyone whose families are torn apart for unscriptural reasons. Mothers can't speak to daughters, fathers can't speak to sons, etc., etc. Now, I respect everyone's right to different beliefs, but when a Christian organization teaches things that are not true about Jesus Christ, like saying, Jesus Christ is not the mediator between God and humans, Jesus Christ has already returned, that he returned in 1914, they tell people they have no heavenly hope if they are not a Jehovah's Witness. An organization telling people they are not to partake of the emblems, they're supposed to reject Jesus' ransom sacrifice. Partaking is something Jesus instructed all true followers of his to do. An organization that is destroying lives with their constant flip-flop teachings and people's prospects for salvation. This is an organization that feels they are a substitute for Jesus Christ. They have taught people they were appointed by Jesus Christ and they should trust the governing body the same way they should trust Jesus Christ. Then later on, they admit, this organization admitted they are not inspired by God. Let's not forget all of their false prophecies. This is nothing more than a man-made organization that only teaches people their interpretation of the Bible, which is why they use books, magazines, brochures, and pamphlets. This is to brainwash and to indoctrinate their interpretation of everything. It's not the Holy Spirit. Jesus made it very clear at John chapter 8 verse 31 and 32. So Jesus said to the Jews who believed in him, if you continue to accept and obey my teaching, you are really my followers. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. People will be set free from the unscriptural burdens placed upon them by these Jehovah's Witnesses who are nothing more than modern day Pharisees. Also, so many people feel trapped in this organization because it uses their families and friends as a weapon to keep people ensnared. Ephesians 5.11, it tells us to expose people of this caliber. This is the reason I speak out on my channel and I speak out here. I am not trying to disrespect anyone's religion. At the same time, we are to obey God as ruler rather than any human. Acts chapter 5 verse 29. That includes your son, your daughter, or whoever. 